Welcome. This video covers basic concepts of NPK and fertilization. Nature and plants are infinitely complex. Recognize that everything about fertilization is not known. However, we'll introduce you to a few basics to get started. The concepts presented herein are intended to provide educational perspective. You are encouraged to seek expert counsel when it comes to the specifics of your enterprise. Whatever you do, we wish you tremendous success. The letters N, P, K stand for nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. They represent the three major macronutrients essential to plant growth. Knowledge of these three macronutrients is fundamental for profit and non-profit commercial production enterprises, home gardeners that depend on the food they grow, and entrepreneurs that want to get into commercial production. Nitrogen is the foundation of fertilization because it stimulates plant growth. Phosphorus builds healthy root systems and contributes to fruiting and flowering. Potassium, also known as potash, is a key facilitator of chlorophyll production and helps improve disease resistance and plant health. Potassium also promotes fruiting and flowering. In practice, phosphorus and potassium are often applied together. An early fertilizer consideration is to determine the speed at which you need to apply NPK, for which bioavailability in the soil is deficient. Are the NPK fertilizers you choose quick release or slow release? Quick release products are often associated with synthetic and chemical fertilizers. Slow release products are often associated with natural and organic fertilizers. From our experience with farming, gardening and plant development, the best results come from using quick release and slow release fertilizers in conjunction with each other. For organic growers, longer-term planning is needed to build soils beforehand so that the necessary NPK nutrients are bioavailable for continued release through the growing season. Other considerations when it comes to NPK is to get soil samples. It helps to know what you are starting with and the pH of the soils. For organic growers, soil sampling should be done the year before with slow release fertilizers incorporated into the soils several months before planting. All NPK fertilizer products come with three numbers, which represent the NPK ratio by weight in the bag. In every case, the first number is nitrogen, the second number is phosphorus, and the third number is potassium. In a 100 pound bag, the contents are determined as follows. Nitrogen, 4 pounds. Phosphorus, 1 pound. Potassium, 3 pounds. Other ingredients, 89 pounds. Total weight, 100 pounds. In organic fertilizers, the 89 pounds of other ingredients may be other beneficial compounds, such as carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. For synthetic fertilizers, the NPK ratios can be much higher. In our sample, nitrogen is 10 pounds, phosphorus, 50 pounds, potassium, 10 pounds, inert ingredients, 30 pounds, total weight, 100 pounds. Fertilizers come in a specific ratio of NPK. Contact your experts to determine if the numbers are in the right ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium for your soils and for what you are growing. The source of the nitrogen, phosphorus or potassium that you plan to use can be a major consideration. Should you choose a synthetically sourced product with a high salt content? Or should you choose a natural or organic sourced product with other beneficial compounds? Before applying NPK, the goal is to have a soil pH level that is not too acidic or too alkaline. A soil pH between 5.8 and 7.5 is considered ideal. Soils that are too acidic or too alkaline can affect the availability of nutrients to the plant. 
Soil pH meters are devices used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a soil. They work by measuring the hydrogen ion activity, and this is expressed through the potential for hydrogen, or pH. The pH scale ranges from 0 to 14, with 0 being extremely acidic, 7 being neutral, and 14 being extremely alkaline. pH is raised by adding lime to the soils, thus becoming less acidic. pH is lowered by adding sulfur to the soils, thus becoming less alkaline. NPK fertilizer can be applied to plants in a variety of ways. Dry broadcast to the land. Through irrigation systems. As a foliar spray directly to the leaves of the plant. Through water applied as a root drench. Through watering lines directly to plants. A word of caution. Feed water, which is water that contains the NPK fertilizer, has its own levels of pH. The acidity or alkalinity of the feed water must be taken into consideration as to its effect on the plant and nutrient uptake. While nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium have top billing, they are by no means a complete regimen of compounds that soils and plants need. One must consider other key nutrients such as calcium, magnesium and sulfur. Then there is an almost endless array of micronutrients. Finally there is the importance of soil microbes and soil organic matter, that can hardly be overstated. While the universe of plants and soils is immense, you can start with the seven basics covered in this video. 1. An awareness of the roles that nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium play. 2. Know when you need NPK products that are quick release slow release, or a combination of both products. 3. Understand what the three numbers associated with NPK mean, such as 10 50 10, for example. 4. Know the difference between organic and natural sources of NPK, versus synthetic and chemical sources of NPK. 5. Realize how soil and water pH can negatively affect the uptake of NPK if soils and water are too acidic or too alkaline. 6. Choose the best methods of application, such as dry application, through irrigation systems or foliar application. 7. While NPK are the primary nutrients, there are other important nutrients, soil microbes and organic matter, that are necessary. Kelp 4 Less maintains one of the most wide-ranging and diverse inventories in the world of plant and soil products. Products are available in small quantities for small enterprises and home gardeners. Products are also available at wholesale prices for large operations. Kelp 4 Less is one of the few companies where you can call, ask questions, and get answers about the products offered. Over the years, we've served thousands of customers of every conceivable type of operation and with every conceivable type of challenge. When you need insights and answers, and the stakes are high and complex, our experts are also available for professional consultations at a reasonable price. Here is our contact information. And, as we said before, we wish you tremendous success.